tonight on the Mac to the Future Livecast. Go! Man, you thought using Zoom with potential security issues was risky. The video sharing site called TikTok, which is wholly owned by a Beijing-based company called ByteDance, and shocker, it collects a whole lot of data about its users, not unlike Facebook. Don't get too riled about the COVID-19 tracing app. Apparently, few Americans want it, and more importantly, couldn't figure out how to use it even if they did. And a class action lawsuit saying Apple deliberately broke FaceTime for older devices will cost Apple about $18 million or two Frappuccinos per employee. All of that tonight and more on the Mac to the Future live cast. Go! And good evening, hello everyone out there in the Facebook of lands, something like that. Uh, I am your humble host, Guy Searle, of the Mac to the Future livecast fame. I have no idea where I was going with that. And I am joined, as per usual, by my two my two favorite co-host peoples, Mr. Dave Ginsburg and Mr. Warren Sklar. Hello there, Mr. Dave Ginsburg. Uh-oh. I am not hearing oh, no. you. Me neither. You are now. Yes. Hey, yes. there he is. Yay. I'm, we are I'm off. Have to unmute myself. I had, I had the cough button on. But how are uh, you, everybody? Let's start it over again. Good to see you. What's happening? Uh, yeah. So we're off to in a... place, a, a Shelter in place, as as always. And, uh, and stuff. Staying busy and stuff. And I want to find stuff. out about and I want to find out about your new iPhone SE. You need to tell us about that. Oh, we're going to talk about that. We will. All we right. will talk about that. There and of go. course, we also have live from Guatemala, Mr. Warren Sklar. Wow, you look so far away. I don't know <laughs> why. But don't know why <laughs> there's no sun feels... in the sky. Must be nighttime. I see. It's got the it's got the wa the, the wall partition there and the, the light switches. And well, this is my uh, man cave now. My son's uh, basement area. Oh, that's where right. We set up. That's right. So this is a uh, good. It's nice and quiet, and I could scream, and I could have all this room. It's great. But it just, yeah, he looks he looks so tiny right there, right know. there in the middle. You I can pick can you, you get, up. I, I squished you. I squished I your squish head. You. What was that from? That uh, was from some stupid movie. Yeah, no, it was from uh, it was from uh, Kids in the Hall. Yes, yes, Kids in the Hall. Thank you. That would have really bugged me if I couldn't remember what that was. No, that was good stuff. <sighs> so, uh, so we are here, and yeah. we are we are doing stuff. There is all kinds of stuff going on, and of course, um, the last time we spoke, I told you I had ordered my there it is my iphone, iPhone se SC, baby <clears throat> and it came it came on friday uh setup was ridiculously easy basically it was pre-configured yep. with the carrier that uh that i use which i won't mention because they don't advertise and uh <laughs> basically once i got through the initial setup process just set the two phones next to each other said yeah go ahead and copy everything and it mm -hmm. did the the hardest thing that I've had to deal with, uh, it it's it is so snappy as compared to the eight, um, and battery life is just crazy good. But the one thing that I'm I'm still trying to get used to is the the smaller size of the screen. But for the most part, yeah yeah yeah, you got your slabomatic. For the most part, it it's it's not that important because usually my heaviest usage is in the car and i'm using carplay so you know once it's plugged into the car i don't you know how big or how small the screen is doesn't really matter anymore but i'm very happy with it um That's i got what she said <laughs> yeah. i don't care that it's i don't care that it's small <clears throat> sure you don't i like you said. i like you well, all for just who you are <laughs> Just to you compared to your just compared to your wife's phone is still big so yeah we're, yeah, we're going in the right direction yeah, yes yeah. So I got, well, your I got wife is wife. used to something smaller so well, it's good said the actress to the bishop 
Um, <laughs> get a lot of use out of that actress bishop joke. The um, yes, you do. It's you know, and and it's it's fine. It's you know, it, it's not going to blow anybody away as far as specs go. Uh, I used it today for the first time for uh, two guys' daily drives, which I haven't done anything with yet because I just got so busy once I got back from work, and that's that's a whole other thing that I'm not going to bother to talk about. Um, we have a couple of quick takes right here before we get into the the major stories. This first one is very, very interesting to me. Uh, 2018 certified refurbished 12.9 inch iPad Pros for as little as $750 from Do it. Root. Well, Do I'm it. guessing that Do that's gonna be the, the 64 gig model Wi-Fi only. Who cares? And do it. I care. Because if, want... you, if you do it, you could get one of these guys. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, and they spend another three hundred and fifty dollars. I, what I want, Ooh. I want two hundred and fifty-six gigs of storage. And all these notifications I, need, I have. I need um, cellular. Yes, Dave. We know you have one too. Wait, I didn't. I didn't have to. I had to join. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, one of have us. A nice... One of us. It's it's no, nice. Mine, mine is old nice. and slow. The keyboard trackpad thing is really cool. I mean, I'm really loving it. I've been using it. I've been using it like a lot this week. And has it has I, like learning the the new methodology for because took, it's it's like completely different from two days maybe from what the Mac is. after two days I was after two days I was pretty. I mean, yeah. um, um, I'm like uh, I'm like Tom Cruise in Minority Reports at this point with the trackpad. I'm like things are going back and forth and i'm like doing this and that i i could probably get away with using this for a replacement laptop would i want to probably not i would still take my air with me because it's yeah. easier because yeah and uh, you see see how easy it is look at that oh it's really cool but it's it's great i mean it really makes it like a whole different thing i mean it's really nice and uh i, I use side card yeah what is that? It's a it's magic yeah, no, that, too. That that's good too. But but well, that's, the, it's the only the way it'll work there's... with with my first gen iPad Pro. That's all, all I can use. It's 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 pretty right. good. It works really well. So I'm I'm very happy with my decision on that one. Now you both and, have uh, the 2020s you know, if, or 2018s. 2018s. We both have the 18s. Okay. And uh, it's uh, again, I have no. I have no FOMO on the 2020 at this point right now. Um, so if, you know, if something changes with augmented reality between now and some point and that I feel like I have to have it, that's different. But right now I, I don't have any issues with not having the, uh, the, the newer one, to be honest with you. So, okay. Oh, by the way, iPads are sold out at the Woot Woot. So. Oh, so oh. The, the Woot Woot is gone, gone. It's yeah, gone, gone. It's I waited Woot too anymore. long. Well, it's you know, shoot. What, what's ridiculous is it was like it was like quarter after six tonight here on the East Coast. And uh, I had a cat in my lap and I was watching some stupid old Kurt Russell Disney movie. Is that a, is that a euphemism or is that an actual thing? No, it was it was an actual cat. Okay. Like like a feline oh, feline based life form. No, well, I thought that okay. like it was some hippie, no, hippie no, 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 commune no, 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 thing. No, no. Hey no, man, I got a cat in my lap, and I Jeez, the man. wife is asking me for things and blah blah. blah. No, go ahead. So, um, I went upstairs to to think about dinner, and also my wife was like, "Don't aren't you live casting tonight?" It was like, "Don't." Yes. Don't. Do I have anything written in the show notes? No. no. So I very very quickly threw the show notes together. So, um, if they aren't to their their usual fine standards, that's why because I was stupid. One model. We'll muddle through. Yeah, well, we always do. Um, yes, we do. The, the last one is iPhone 11 is the best-selling smartphone in China for quarter one of 2020. Now, I'm guessing they're talking about calendar year and uh, not fiscal mm. quarter. But I get the feeling that when they release the results for quarter two, that things will be a little different. It Basically, everyone's going from, wow, look at these great sales in quarter one to... Why didn't we sell any phones in quarter two? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it's kind of expected. You know, with the, the, yeah, the yeah. Virus and I'm, we're at the point where nobody's gonna 
blame the company for poor performance in the next couple of months. Uh, oh, they'll always blame the company for poor nah, performance. They I, don't I think care. they'll be a little leaner, lenienter on it. So L- lenient-ish, lenient-ish. Just lean, Almost sounds like some kind of pasta dish. Okay, it never is. mind. Uh, pa- moving uh, on to the main le- stories. Chicken lent lenientini. <laughs> Analysts. Uh, TikTok is trying to be the new YouTube, but scarier. This is, uh, I put this information together from a Wikipedia article, so you, you know it's true. That's TikTok. Oh, I was dancing. Uh, mm-hmm. Beijing, Beijing-based ByteDance, which owns and distributes the TikTok application, is a video sharing platform somewhat similar to YouTube. If YouTube was wholly owned and controlled by the U.S. government and encouraged censorship against information unfavorable to the government, uh, ByteDance, by Chinese law, must share any information requested by the government and has been accused uh, by many countries of censorship and has been banned several on several occasions. They have also removed content favorable to the Hong Kong uprising, unfavorable to China based on human rights violations, Uh, including re-education camps for ethnic and religious minorities, and have, according to leaked internal documents, suppressed posts by people they deem too ugly, poor, or disabled. I don't know why I'm laughing, but it's it's like, wow, really. I guess they figured Facebook had that market sewed up. So they figured, yeah, well, we don't want to go there. Uh, the, the app collects, according to privacy, that it's to its very own privacy policy, uh, use, usage information IP addresses, a user's mobile carrier, unique device identifiers, keystroke patterns, and location data, among other data, and has been called spyware and parasitic. It has also been banned from all U.S.-owned and issued computer platforms, and the Australian Defense Forces have done the same. Uh, on the other hand, it has also now passed over two bi- 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 billion downloads with iOS and android we're gonna start with warren warren have you ever used tiktok oh holy crap what the- yeah it's because it's because you, know, you just like zoomed of- right up it scared <laughs> me it really scared me oh gosh what is <laughs> okay. with your zoom there we go no okay. well because i zoomed oh. it because it's memo if i if i zoom it it works when I'm like in uh, the full screen, and eh, never mind, I'll fix it on. on uh, we'll, we'll fix that in post. Um, what did I know? Uh, I think I have TikTok on my phone. I, I know my son likes it. Um, this is the first time I heard anything about privacy issues with it. I had no idea no, that it was an issue. I knew from the get go. <laughs> yeah, uh, did you? I uh, yeah, you know, but I, you know, what I mean, you know. I knew of TikTok. I was I knew, not I, aware of some of these things that I just found out about 15, 20 minutes ago. And no, me neither. I mean, I, I to me, I, it doesn't bother me because I'm not going to use it either way. But if I liked it, I would still use it because this, this stuff doesn't scare me like it scares some other people. It, it doesn't bother me. Uh, but um, but from what I'm reading is a lot of – what was the article I read? A lot of doctors are trying, um, you know, are going on TikTok now, and they're trying to get all these audiences to, to kind of, you know, educate people about the uh, the virus. And it's it's a thing, you know. They're trying to you, you get views, and you got to be entertaining, and it has to be, you know, a certain, you know, it's got to appeal to kids and things like that. So it's definitely not just the kids that are doing it. A lot of a lot of people are doing it. Okay, uh, let me find you. Where are you, Dave? There you are. I'm right here. Well, I mean, look, you you, you got uh, you got the J Lo and the A Rod. You had the Rock. I mean, everybody's on this. It's it, 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 it just it, they're TikTok and and it's uh oh, here. Look at look at someone uh, doing some uh, some ketchup uh, art there. You know, it, oh wow, they're, yeah. gonna, they're salting it. So, it, it, we can find um, that kind of quality. People, even in, in our circles, <laughs> with <laughs> even in our Thank circles, God. like. Uh, I just seen and a lot of the a lot of the uh, tech bloggers are on there now because it's just addicting because you can just do short videos. That's what it is. It's just short videos or you record stuff, and you just get you just get addicted to it. And, that, and that's what's and that's what's crazy about it. And that's why it's become just so My insanely popular because because uh, because people just record videos and and just 
have all their fun. So, I mean, well, is there is there a, a upper limit to how long your videos can be? I don't think it could be more than a few minutes. I mean, they're short videos. I mean, they're that's a, that's that's the point. I mean, do they just want quickie TikTok. videos? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, so uh, no, limit. no long form, no. No, no long like form. We wouldn't be I able. Mean, we wouldn't be able to do the Mac to the Future live cast. Oh no, you just well, certainly not point. after the story that we just told. No, but. it's fifteen <laughs> seconds. Yeah. They could seconds? be up to fifteen seconds, but they could put them yeah. together to make it up to 60, 60 seconds. Is what it is. I mean, like, like you look like Instagram. Instagram, you don't have more than a one minute videos unless you go onto their video part of their service. You know, Instagram is always like that too. So, but this is even more so short. I mean, starting fifteen seconds, so you. you know, they're quick. The other so, thing I just found out is there's no C in TikTok. Yes. Tick. He's right. He's got it written right in the show notes. Tick. No, oh, yeah. I was searching under the wrong. Yeah. I was searching. You were searching T I C? Talk. Yeah. I searched TikTok with the C's and says, okay, boomer, here's what I found about TikTok. Yeah, like 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 Frank said, the the great American attention span. Yeah, fifteen seconds. Yeah, well, that's like, this is great. With... I'm so bored now. Well, it's the same seconds. with uh, Qu- Quibi. You know, Quibi is doing the short videos Quibi. and yeah. yeah, seven minutes. So, I mean, yeah. Unfortunately, now we're all at home and we have all, all the attention span in the world. I actually watched the last two episodes of Saturday Night Live, the full episode. Like, I don't but think the... I've watched it full. Ep- not not live, but we taped it, and I've well, watched the entire. Are you talking about? Are you talking about the, the the new ones that have just come out where they can't yeah, like perform the, together? Yeah, the two from home. I just watched them, but um, I don't. I can't tell you the last time I watched a full episode of Saturday Night Live before the last two weeks. That's I'm how guessing I am. for me, it's been like the eighties. Yeah, probably me too. It's been like crazy. <laughs> Same thing with like The Simpsons. I haven't watched a full episode of The Simpsons, new episode of The Simpsons since probably '95. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit, too. maybe a little bit later, because we st- actually no, I had to take that back because we were into uh, the Halloween episodes, the uh, Treehouse of Horror episodes. We always enjoyed those. So for a while, when the kids were young, younger-ish, we would um, we would watch those. All right. Um, so that's that's TikTok. If you guys are on TikTok, you know, check. Please do yourself a favor. Check their privacy policies. I, figure out how much information you're from, you're comfortable with giving them as as compared to Facebook and Google and and all the other companies that are competing for your eyeballs right now, which are doing pretty much the same kind of stuff. All right. Um, I'm 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 just a lurker. I don't. I have not posted anything as of yet. So. No, neither have I. Uh, I found I found this to be kind of funny. Most Americans are not willing or able to use a contact tracing app. This was the story I got from Mac Daily News. Uh, with between one in six people not even having smartphones, and we're talking about the U.S. numbers here, half of those unwilling to use it and quite a few more unable to use it, adoption rates for the contact tracing app uh, are looking pretty minuscule. And to... To put it in some perspective, uh, they tried doing something similar to this in Singapore. And Singapore, being a much different type of country than the United States, uh, the people are, are more willing to follow along with what the government wants them to do as compared to the United States. And even there, they only had about a 20% adoption rate. So I, I can't see and, – and the thing with, with an application like this is you really need to have some big numbers for it to reach uh, critical mass, for it to be effective. You kind of need 50% or more people using it. And it doesn't sound like uh, even with Apple and Google behind it that it's going to reach those kinds of numbers. What do you guys think? Who are you starting with? Um, let's start with Dave. Boom. Um, yeah, I mean, it it is kind of scary how it how it tra- how the contacts are traced. You know, I mean, I I, I see that you know many times. I, I'm trying to remember where I, where I just was. I was on an app and 
it all of a sudden had all my contacts from like even work contacts. I'm, oh, you know, what was it was Venmo. Um, I was in uh, Venmo, Venmo. I was in Venmo and, and all of a sudden all these contacts are showing up in Venmo. I, I never had any contact with them at all. So, I mean, it, it, it does, it does kind of get kind of scary how, how they can trace stuff. Um, I'm not, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of it, but, um, and I don't think a lot of people, like you, like, like the article says, I don't think a lot of people are willing to do it. Okay. Um, Warren. Ah! Jesus Christ. Every time. You got to give me more warning. <laughs> I just said Warren. Boom. There you go. You got to be quicker. Um, yeah. So I guess my first thought is even if it helps a couple people, you know, I, I know you, you know, 50% need to use it, but if it, you know, stops a few, you know, 20% of the population from catching it, then fine. It's good. Um, I have put the beta of uh, iOS on my phone today and the app is sort of there um the tracking app is sort of live ish in the beta um there's an option to it's on by default you can turn it off uh it's under go over it and, yeah and yeah, it's you can look it up but it's under uh privacy and health and then it says covid 19 tracking uh something um and you could turn that on and off so um you know if, if it helps a little bit then that's good um, well is it is it on by default and right now it is for the beta it, it's turned on by default yeah okay that's that's gonna be an issue for some people i think well they could turn it off but they might i don't know what they're gonna do so but also um you know i don't know i got covid uh i got tested yesterday that's something new um when, when do you find out healthcare. the results I work in healthcare. So I woke up yesterday with a headache and a sore throat and, uh, um, they, I didn't go to work, but they t told me to come in. Um, and they swabbed me. I was supposed to, it's 24 hours. So I was supposed to be here today, but I, they must not have the result. And so I'll hear tomorrow. Um, my throat still kind of hurts a little bit and I, I've had a headache and I'm sure it's not anything, but the test is, uh, interesting. Uh, if anybody's Don't curious, they like, like uh, cram it pretty far down your nose? Yeah, yeah, well, it's not as violent as it sounds, but yeah, they take a yeah, very long. I'm picturing, I'm picturing like Marty Feldman as Igor, <laughs> you know, with this big hammer. Yes, it's yes. Like, ah, I'm going to swab you now. But he I sounds like, actually, for some reason, Peter Sellers. I don't, I can't understand. It, it actually hurt. It hurt me more last night than it did. You know, it. it I, you kind of feel it more. The 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 sticking did in isn't the hard study? part. <laughs> Did I stutter? Oh, oh for my yeah. test? No, yeah. 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 No, I, I did not study for it, but I know, I know how it's done. So, uh, yeah, so that that's fun. I'll let you know if I have COVID you didn't, uh, you tomorrow. Didn't, you didn't copy off someone else, did you? That's, that's no, a bad but it, thing. But, but, but I am not allowed to go to, 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 to work. <laughs> I'm grounded until they get a result in. Uh. So. That, that's fun. So I was off today and yesterday and probably tomorrow now. So that's fun. Yeah, I actually went into work today, which, well, I, I would have, know, I, yeah. I, I've been doing um, Wednesday. Oh, by the way, whoever whoever might be interested, Wednesdays and Friday mornings between 7 and 8 is when I'm doing guys' daily drives in the morning and between 12 and 1 on the my return home. So mark that on your calendars and I'll keep trying to remember to put something out watched. there on Facebook before I left. How did it look? Cause this was the first ones that I'd done with the, uh, with the iPhone. Did it look all right? It looked good. Yeah, it looked good. There's a, uh, I mean, obviously when you're, when depending on the angles, when you're driving, you see the sun starting to give some, yeah. some bad lighting, yeah. but well, and there's does nothing I can really do about that. Does this shine off the top of your head? No, it's, <laughs> it's just shining into the windows of the car. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Um, Last story I have for the evening, another fun one. Apple declares, who cares? With $18 million settlement for a FaceTime Pocket class change. action lawsuit, pretty much. Uh, in, in essence, what this is about, Apple stopped supporting an older version of FaceTime to save on server costs. So if everything that in the story is true, the only users that would be affected would be those still using iPhone 3GSs or older 
or people with maybe slightly newer devices that hadn't updated their operating system. Uh, based on when Apple made the switch, most of these users were already using four to five year old phones, some of which don't even have cameras. Uh, each yeah. winner will receive about three dollars, with the vast majority most likely going to uh, the lo various lawyers that that set this suit up. And okay, we're gonna we're gonna start with Warren. Warren. I think I should be defaulted. There. Okay, I didn't play with it this time. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not really too much to say about this article other than Apple is like, whatever, here, have, have a couple bucks. And uh, uh, I don't think it was uh, – yeah. a couple thoughts about this. First of all is I still don't understand how that could be – like let's say, let's say Apple totally did this on purpose and they oh, well, submitted that's, it. That, they did. They did do it on purpose. Right. Well – they did it on purpose, and then they said, well, you know, it was kind of a bug, but whatever. So how is that how, how is that a suable thing? Can Because you can sue about anything. Right, but can I, it come I like stubbed if my, I stubbed my own toe. I'm going to sue the company that built this house because they obviously used defective materials 35,000 years ago. <laughs> I mean, if, if uh, LG rolls out an update – and all of a sudden the update makes it so I can't get the, uh, uh, like, I don't know if I can't get like a channel. I don't know. That's a bad example, but you know, who it's not a bad example. If LG does an update on the TV and all of a sudden a few channels don't work anymore because of the update and it's by design, I don't think you could sue. And, you know, because it's, uh, maybe it's, you, why can't you sue that? I mean, it's their company; it's their choice. If you don't like it, don't use their product. I, I, I don't get the whole thing about suing. I could tell you it was a bad decision, um, and it was a bad time to do it um, because of the uh, people uh, trying to, you know, contact people with old stuff. But I don't, I don't understand really why there would even be a lawsuit. Like, I mean, can Apple just say F you, we decide to do it and you know, that's our prerogative and you know, what can you say? You know. Well the the whoops, sorry, I hit the wrong button. The damn it. I'll find the oh. right button if I keep trying. There it is. There it is. The um the the problem is consumer protection laws are set up in such a way to to do pretty much just that, to prevent companies from making major changes to their platforms to the detriment of the, the people who have spent good money to buy those products. Like in the case where you're talking about a, a television set that received a firmware update that now can no longer get certain channels. Well, if you're a, cust you're a customer and you bought this TV set and the channels worked when you bought the TV set, and you're paying for those channels. And now those channels don't work and it's because of the firmware. And most of the time these firmware changes can't be rolled back, then you as a consumer have been damaged by not being able to see uh, the, the channels that your TV set was perfectly capable of showing before. But that happens all the time in the history of product development over time. Sure I mean, it does. It, you know, yeah. the, the, it's like when we went from analog to digital TV. Uh, you know, all of these television stations for a couple of years had to broadcast in both, you know, the, their old analog signal and then the digital signal until, and now they no longer, nobody broadcasts in analog anymore. And people who still have, and there's still a lot of people out there that still have analog sets have to use a digital receiver in order to get these channels. And then the digital yeah. receiver breaks it back down I, and I actually have a relevant uh, example of this. Uh, a few years back, myself and my wife went out to Boise, Idaho to visit my mother-in-law. And her, her other daughter, Kelly, was uh, planning on moving out there to just to stay with her. And she had this TV set. It was a 25-inch tube TV set from probably the late 80s 
And it had a wonderful picture. I mean, it was beautiful. But you couldn't really use it anymore. So she'd gone out and gotten one of these on the advice of her cable company, uh, got one of these digital converters. Uh, well, part of the problem with digital converters going from, from analog to digital is if they're transmitting in a 16 by 9 configuration and the TV set that you have only does 4 by 3, then you get banding on the top, you get banding on the bottom, or the, the picture becomes distorted so that so it can fill the screen, so on and so forth. So I, you know, I spent like a day looking at this, going, "This is r ridiculous. Why are you hanging on to this twenty-five-year-old TV set when you can get a brand new one for just a couple of hundred bucks?" And, it, and she had, you know, it wasn't really a question of money because she had the money to do it. It's like. You know, while I'm here, let me go and get you a TV set that's going to work with all of the stuff that you currently have, and I'll set it up so where all you have to do is just hit a button to go to your various channels. And I did. Right. And you know what this reminds me of? And she still, she still found things to complain about. And still but complains reminds, about it, even to this day, a few years later. And Dave, Dave will get this too, but this reminds me, this is a perfect example, actually. Uh, in IT, uh, if, especially if you, you help out uh, like home clients, yeah, people buy six, seven, eight years ago, nine years ago, they bought a thousand dollar printer, right? They love yeah. the printer; it works great, like things like that. All of a sudden, they updated to the to the Catalina, all right, and the printer stopped working, uh, and they're like, you know, you got an old printer, or you, know, you got an old printer, it doesn't work anymore. You got to get a new printer. But but this printer's great; it was a thousand dollars ten years ago. Could they sue? Could they sue Apple? You know, for making no. that? No. Why? It's the exact same thing. They have an old it's, device. It's not. It's not the same thing though, because why? No, it's not up to Apple. Drivers. They. They. Yeah. They could sue the manufacturer of the printer for well, not providing HP. drivers. No, uh, Apple within... doesn't. No, no, well, no, no, no. Apple, you had you. No, there are printers. No, no, no. There are Apple printer provides drivers. the drivers now, but Apple. No, no, you know, no. Apple uses Apple uses this this technology the called cups. 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 And there's a lot of printers out there that work very well with cups. There are some that don't. There are some right. companies that Epson and Canon, for example, have their own driver software that works within OS X. And right. HP as well. Oh, HP does it too. Okay, and for right. older printers. It's just not worth it to the companies to oh, provide support they, going forward, especially for a printer that's 10 years old that, you know, I mean, they're constant. And, and this is because the whole yeah. printer industry. So what's stopping them from, you know, so why can't they sue Canon for that? Well, they probably gotta, could. It could would, they? you know, it would, it would take a really long time and, and, you know, thousands would, would die in the meantime, you know, establishing a beachhead, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, Anyhow, that's my point. And, well, but, I mean, but here's the thing, if you're, you're a lawyer and class action suits is your whole thing, are you, you go after going Apple. to go after Canon, no, even though it's right. their product for not providing drivers or are you going to go after Apple, who will basically say, "Ugh, who has time for this? Here's some money, go away." Right, but Apple could go, you know, and say, "Look at all these other companies that do the same thing." You know, um, I, I have a great computer that won't run uh, Windows 10; or will only run Windows 95. And now I'm getting all these viruses. I mean, time erases, you know, things. You know, after a certain amount of time, sure. especially with technology. Know, yeah. Especially technology. Yeah, so, I mean, I was, I was born. I was born sixty years ago. I don't think I'll still be around in another sixty years. So who mm -hmm. do I sue? You never know. Yeah, you're not built as, you're not <laughs> built the same way you used to be. And I don't even use cups, yet. <laughs> no, well, the, that, that'll be later. Not, I not, mean, I mean, not those kind of cups. <laughs> yeah, not those. The, kind the, of other, cups. the point I wanted to make, to make as far as this lawsuit goes with Apple, you know what? Apple reacted pretty quickly and and they fixed it. You know, they, they, they sent out a patch and it was fixed. So it wasn't like, you know, the Apple isn't going to say, you know what, screw you, we're not fixing it. And that's the end of it. Um, and that's you know, that's why I just say these lawsuits are just so frivolous. Well, of course uh, they these are. Lawyers, you know, these lawyers are just hungry to make money. 
and they're just suing for everything. And and you know, I'm not defending Apple for doing it. I mean, you know, no. they they sh- shame on them for doing it, but they fixed it. You know, they 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 acknowledged there was a mistake, so then they fixed the problem. But you know, people have to make they got to make money. They're a waste of time. Well, I mean, you see, see, you $4. see these billboards. You see these billboards. You know, if you have been in an accident, call oh, yeah. one eight hundred. Pers- We're going to take Pers- all your money. Dot com. You know, so yeah. It's all the per- yeah, no, Pers- I get, I get, ambulance, ambulance I get lawyers and I get lawyers. money. How to, yeah, that's yeah, but that's they suck. They all suck. Point. They all suck. But you know, just if you're a lawyer, if you're a lawyer reasons. and you and you basically rely on uh, people who have gotten into automobile accidents for for the majority of your yeah. your practice, you've made some seriously wrong life decisions someplace because it's it's enough to make a lot of money. Well, you know, money, money, is, money isn't always everything. And how many people how many people have to suffer in order to for these some of, some of these lawyers not all of them. But uh, some of these lawyers to to make a buck, where they're literally chasing ambulances down the street. They hear about a, an accident, and they're right there at the hospital handing out business cards. And then a lot. This is what a lot of them do. I worked for a personal injury uh, uh, attorney for many, many, many years ago, and I saw it firsthand. I mean, these, uh, I mean, they're 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 shysters. They they they. And some some of their business practices yeah. are not are, are not. And uh, and they good. count they they count on not going to court. They count on making settlements with insurance companies or with whoever it is that that you know that has been determined to be in the wrong, because they don't want to go to court. They don't want to spend the time going to court. So, they they ask for these outrageous sums of money, and then the insurance company says, "We'll, we'll give you half that." And once everything is once everything is settled, the you know the the person who got hurt gets half. The lawyer gets the other half, and. Uh, if that particular person needs more help and care beyond the money that they've received, too bad. They've signed a they've signed a release, you know, making sure that the insurance company and the person who they were suing and all the rest of that are no longer liable for for anything going forward. And it's despicable. Yeah. No, I yes. agree. But that's not what this show was supposed to be about. I don't know how. No. How did we get veered off on this? I, I blame no. Warren. It's the, Warren's the, fault. The, the, the I just lawsuit. asked a simple question. I'm a simple. Well, man. there you go. A simple question. See, so you, you can't ask no, me it, simple questions. It doesn't work that. So, way. so yeah. The, so the answer is lawyers are scumbags, and that's the yeah. answer. But that's sure. not really the, the answer I was going for. But the 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 question is how could this? You know, the question is Apple's not the only one co- company that. Does you know that over time makes their older products not work? Anymore. Obsolete. It's, a lot of it is planned obsolescence, and <laughs> yes, you know, and that happens you can, all the time. Sure, you know, I mean, if you if you want to support iOS thirteen and on on an iPhone three GS, I guess Apple could maybe do it, but it would be a terrible experience and it w- it would bring yeah. the operating system down for everybody else. So sooner or later, it's like, you, know, you, you um, bought a phone and that phone has with Apple a four to five year lifespan before you're not going to get operate, you know, OS right, updates anymore. The problem is Apple didn't provide a reason why they cut off the FaceTime. And if they would have came out and said, listen, we, we, we stopped putting FaceTime, allowing FaceTime from the new devices to the older devices because of some security thing or some performance sure. thing. That never happened. Forever. But if they would have came out and said, we did it because, you know, it was a big security still, hole. They, and if you did they that. still would have sued. They still would have gotten sued. I mean, think really? about the other thing. I don't know. Think about, think about the, the other thing, thing that happened when the, when the battery thing, when they were throttling, yeah. the throttling the iPhones. And then there was a lawsuit for that. Yeah. I mean, but and they, it was done it mostly time, for, their, they, it was for their own protection. So that the right, the phones pre- wouldn't wouldn't burn up, so wouldn't crash all the time. Yeah. I mean, and, and it's yeah. just, and they still they, got. But sued. I think did, they got sued. Yeah, but, but they but they, still, they didn't lose so, that. Did they win that? No, they, they got sued, but did they lose that? They settled. They settled out of court. They settled. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it wasn't worth. It isn't worth. Right. It. it is just. It's their the, for as much as they pay their their uh, on staff lawyers, it just isn't worth it. Yeah. Right. All right. Yep. That's everything I have, unless you guys have anything tonight. Nope. <laughs> right, well, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, a little more in detail. 
It's the, it's all right. Yeah, let's talk about the, the COVID-19 test some more. So they so take a big a long swab, stick and they shove it up it's in a those, swab that's it's about a, six feet long with yes. about a, a one foot diameter that they shove up your nose. At it least looks like a two or three feet. They put it in your nose until it doesn't feet. go anymore. <laughs> but, but the going in doesn't really... They also call it the brain scrambler. Okay. Yeah. The going in doesn't hurt as much. The, you know what hurts? What hurts is they turn it ten times when it's in the nose. Yeah. That's the painful part. So they put it. T- try this at home. Take a Q-tip, stick it in your nose, yeah, you know, as far uh-huh. as you can go, and then turn it ten times, and then that's what it feels like. Yeah. Let me write that down because I definitely want to. <laughs> ten do times. That. Ten not times. nine. Not All 11. I know is as the person is turning it, they're like this. <laughs> yeah. Looking like a monkey. rodeo clown. We're going to start with Warren. Warren, if, if people wanted to get a hold of you, how would they do it? Oh, I'm here. I'm home. Uh, w Sklar, Twitter, um, might even be my Facebook thing. Um, I do Facebook. Uh, I'm occasionally on Facebook um, here and there. I do a thing, uh, uh, this uh, group, I do uh, this thing um, tomorrow night. I, I do another thing with Dave, and then that's about it. Okay. <laughs> How about you, Dave? What kind of thing uh, well, are you doing? Are you doing things? I'm doing some things. You know, okay, uh, good. In touch with okay. iOS.com, that's a good place to look that's at. That's uh, We record, record our shows, and we do uh, stream them live on Thursday nights. Um, so come check us out. Uh, Got a guest, uh, uh, a scheduled guest, so Renee Ritchie's coming uh, tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to that. And uh, not a girl. He will, uh, and it's not a girl. It's no. It's, it's he's a, a nice guy. He's a very nice guy. Um, so cool. uh, we, you got that, and uh, president of the uh, suburban Chicago Apple users doing, still doing uh, virtual meetings uh, with that. Uh, I watched we're it. We'll be doing that for for seeable future. I sent you the link, didn't I? Uh, yeah, I watched some of it. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. So. Um, that's right. I put it. In, I posted it on Facebook, uh, and uh, yeah, we do. I, we do that, and so we're trying to trying to you know reinvent ourselves, and uh, everything's virtual now, so uh, it, it's it's actually working well. well. And uh, Zoom does work well, so especially in the webinar format. And uh, if you want to watch me, uh, you want to catch me on uh, social media. The good place is at uh, Twitter, Dave G sixty five. And I oh, also are you on TikTok? Like... You no. catch me on TikTok. on TikTok. No, are you on TikTok? Yeah. Right. I am Except all you have time to do is go like this. Hey, it's Dave, and I do the In Touch with iOS show. Good night, everybody. So TikTok. Uh, TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> so, um, oh, wow, I just lost my whole train of thought. It's like, phew, gone. Uh, I Your also do, gone. besides, oh, I'll try that guy. Besides the Mac <laughs> the Future Go live cast, I also do uh, the My Mac podcast each and every weekend with uh, Gasmas. Ooh, we're actually coming up. Two more shows, and I think we'll be on. We'll hit show 800, though we're not making a big deal about it. Uh, I also do Guys Daily Drives on Wednesdays and Fridays, uh, both on video and audio. And you can watch the edited version of this on Facebook. You'll be able to watch the edited version of this on YouTube. And if you go to watch it on YouTube, make sure that you like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. That's how that works. And uh, that always helps me out over there. If you'd like to help me pay for all the microphones that I don't use anymore. You can, you can totally do that. You can buy me a coffee at coffee.com forward slash Mac parrot K O dash. There's also Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Mac parrot and uh, PayPal. You can PayPal me at paypal.me forward slash Mac parrot. Uh, I am also on the Twitter's, Two Twitter accounts. Um, what the hell are they? Mac Parrot and Vert Shark. Mark Parrot. And uh, what else? Uh, I'm in Facebook. Uh, I'm in my Mac. I'm like all over the place. So that is that is going to do it for this evening. Thank you all so very very much for joining us right here on the mac to the future go live cast we will see you hopefully next week uh hopefully warren will 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 not be all covidy we won't covet his covidness and uh 
We're gonna. Oh my camera! I don't know. Look at me. Look at this. What is this? I don't know what's going on. Oh, you're like the internet's your breaking up. He's breaking yeah, up. No, everything's He's bro- breaking up. Warren Sklar. <laughs> I'm not here anymore. Barely alive. Anyways, you could kind of hear me. We can rebuild him. I'm like. We can I'm make like, him better. I'm like. Uh, He's the six million Marty dollar McFly. livecaster. <laughs> I'm like Marty McFly in Back to the Future. Well, I'm like disappearing. Okay. All right. Uh, that is. I think I'm going to get a. Do- I need a better router Bye. down here. That's going to do it for this evening. Mark. Say goodnight, Warren. Say goodnight, I can't. Dave. I'm not here anymore. Good night, Warren. Good night, Dave. See ya. All right. Bye, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.